Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a magpie, which is another request I received. A magpie is an Australian bird. I often hear them singing outside while I'm filming. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, the large one, the size is 14cm wide by 12cm or 5.5 inches wide by 4 and 3 quarter inches. The medium magpie crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 10 centimetres wide by 8 centimetres or 4 inches wide by 3 inches. The small magpie crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 8 centimetres wide by 5.5 centimetres or 3 inches wide by 2 and a quarter inches. For this one, I added the gum nut branch. I'll add the link to the video for that. Now, I'll be using Katona cotton, so the size will be slightly smaller than the large one. Now, I'll be using Katona cotton. I've got 110 black but I won't use that for the video, it will be too hard for you to see it so I'll use a light grey for the black parts I've got 106 Snow White and 393 Charcoal I've got a 2.5mm crochet hook for the main parts and I'll use a 2mm crochet hook for the neatening rows I've got a small brown bead for the eye scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends and sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together and I'll also use the white for the beak markings. Now the beak, the head, the body and the tail are all worked in one piece so I'd start using my 110, the black but because it's hard to see I've got 074 mercury. Now we start with 4 chain For row 1 we work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet we put the hook into the chain and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through both loops. Then we work one half double crochet into the next stitch. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next chain and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And then we're going to work one double crochet into our last chain. That's a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the last chain and bring up a loop yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Now that's the beak part. Now we're going to work along the end of our double crochet. For row two we start with one chain and then we work one single crochet in this end of the double crochet and then work one single crochet into the middle of the double crochet and then we're going to work two single crochet into the end of it, the bottom. So two single crochet down there. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into our first stitch. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches. And two single crochet into the last stitch. For 
For row 4, we start with 1 chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. There's 3 loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And then we work one single crochet in each stitch to the end. There'll be four more stitches to work. Now we're going to work seven chain. That's for down the breast. For row 5, we miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each of the six remaining chain. And then we're going to work one single crochet in each of the five stitches. So I just spin the head around and work into those five stitches along the head. Row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn and we're going to work 1 single crochet into each of the first 10 stitches. There's one stitch left. We work two single crochet into our last stitch. For row seven, we start with two chain and turn. We work one half double crochet and two single crochet into the first stitch. And then one single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have 14 stitches. For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches. Then we'll work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work 2 single crochet and 1 half double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 15 stitches. So after the joined single crochet work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch.
and work two single crochet and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 9 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work one half double crochet and two single crochet in the first stitch. So one half double crochet and two single crochet. And then work one single crochet in each stitch until we have two left. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 16 stitches. So after the three in the first stitch work one single crochet in each stitch until there are two left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then we'll work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work one single crochet and one half double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 16 stitches. So after the joined single crochet work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work one single crochet and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first 14 stitches. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work one single crochet and one half double crochet in the last stitch and we'll have 15 stitches. So after the joined single crochet work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch.
and work one single crochet and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 13 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work one half double crochet and one single crochet into the first stitch. And then work one single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have 16 stitches. For row 14, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have 15 stitches. For row 15 we work one chain, I work it quite tightly and then we turn. We work one slip stitch in each of the first three stitches. So put your hook into the first stitch and bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. And then we need a slip stitch into each of the next two stitches as well. And then work one chain, work one single crochet in the same stitch as the last slip stitch. Work one single crochet in each stitch until we've got two stitches left. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 12 single crochet. I've got two stitches left, we work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. That little bit left there is for where we put the leg. For row 16 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet into each of the next eight stitches.
and a join single crochet row for the last two stitches. For row 17 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first five stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. And a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Then yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. And yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. For row 18 we start with two chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches, the same as we just did. Then one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. and then one single crochet into each of the last four stitches. For row 19 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches One half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And a join double crochet over the last three stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops and yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. There's four loops on the hook, put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. For row 20 we start with three chain we're going to work a joined double crochet over the first three stitches. So the same as we just did. One half double crochet into the next stitch and one single crochet into each of the last two stitches. For row 21 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches and one half double crochet into each of the last two stitches. For row 22 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the four stitches. For row 23 we start with one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook 
hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop and yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. For row 24 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. For row 25 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 26 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. And that's the head beacon body done. What we're going to do now is work a neatening row around to the other side of this last row and then we'll work the tail. Now I'll just change to my final hook. I just find it easier when I've got a large neatening row. So we start with one chain and we're just going to work a slip stitch in each stitch around. So just put your hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. So I'll just work up to the beak. I might do the beak a little bit different instead of just doing a slip stitch. It will round it out too much. So I'll work to the beak off camera. Now I've worked a slip stitch just in the end of the beak. I work two chain and slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. And then slip stitch around the rest of the beak and just make sure you've got a nice point and I'll keep working my slip stitches just to the side of the last row and then we'll work the tail so I'll work that off camera now that's the neatening row done. I'll change back to my 2.5 millimeter hook. Now for the tail, we start with eight chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each remaining chain. and then slip stitch into the first stitch of row 24 so just in there and then turn your work and then work one slip stitch in each of the first six stitches on the tail part Then work two chain and turn and we're going to work one slip stitch in the last five slip stitches down the tail. So miss the last one.
then slip stitch in the last stitch of row 24 and turn and then work one slip stitch into each of the first four stitches up the tail. Work two chain and then slip stitch into each of the last three stitches. down the tail. And then slip stitch into the end of the tail, end of the neatening row there and fasten off. And that's the bird's body done. Now for the wing, I'll still use the mercury instead of using my black. And we start with four chain. We work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. One double crochet in the next chain. That's a treble using UK terms. and one sing single crochet into the last chain. That just gives the end of the wing a bit of a bend. For row two, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch, and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of our five stitches. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet in each of the last three stitches. For row six we start with one chain and turn we work a joined single crochet row for the first two stitches and one single crochet in each of the last two stitches. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet row for the first two stitches and one single crochet in the last stitch. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the two stitches. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in the stitch. And that's the wing. Now for the neatening row, we can work one chain tightly. We don't turn and we just work 
one slip stitch in each stitch around just to the end there. So I'll work my neatening row off camera. We don't fasten off because we're going to do a bottom edge to the wing. Now I've done my neatening row just to the tip of the wing. Now we'll work the bottom of the wing. We start with four chain. We miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each of the three remaining chain. and then work one single crochet in each of the first six stitches along the bottom of the wing. I'm just working in the outside loop. And then slip stitch into the next stitch and turn. Now slip stitch into the front loop of the first stitch and then work one single crochet in the front loop of each stitch to the end of the point there. For row 3 we start with 3 chain, we miss the first chain and work one half double crochet in each of the two remaining chain. Then we'll work one single crochet in the back loop only of each of the next 7 stitches on the wing. Now this is a back loop and this is a front loop here. We just want a bit of a ridge so a single crochet in the back loop only of the next seven stitches. and then slip stitch around until you meet the, the wing. Just get it nice and even. So I'll slip stitch to there and fasten off. And that's the wing done. I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back with my white and we'll work these little markings on the bottom of the wing and we'll work these other two markings. Now for the white feathers under the wing we join our 106 a snow white six stitches along from the end of the wing. So just in here, I'll join in the back loop only. Now we work three chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each remaining chain.
and then slip stitch into the next stitch along the bottom of the wing and then work three chain miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the two remaining chain and slip stitch into the next stitch along and we do that one more time, three chain miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the two remaining chain and slip stitch into the next stitch and then we work two chain and we slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and then slip stitch into the next stitch along and we work three more of those two chain slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and slip stitch into the next stitch two chain slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and then slip stitch into our next stitch and we need one more two chain slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and then slip stitch into the next stitch along and then fasten off and that's the wing with the white feathers now for this back marking I've got my 106 of Snow White again and we start with 4 chain we miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each of the next two chain and one single crochet into the last chain That's just for that little part down the back. Now we're going to work into the side of our single crochet. We start with one chain and we work two single crochet into the side. Just in the side of the single crochet there. For row three we start with one chain and turn we work two single crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into the last stitch for row 4 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of our three stitches For row 5 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet in each of the first two stitches and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet in each of the first two stitches and one half double crochet into the last stitch. 
For bar weight, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet in each of the last two stitches. And that's the marking done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row you can work one chain tightly if you like. We don't turn and we're just going to work one slip stitch in each stitch. I might change hooks. Just, just down to the top of the row one. So I'll just do one into here and then I bring out a loop and I put, we're going to pass the loop behind this part here. So I'm going to put my hook into a stitch there and then bring my loop across, bring a loop through and pull it tighter and then work one slip stitch in each stitch up to the beginning of our last row. Now I'm just in the side of the last row. We work three chain, we miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each remaining chain. And then slip stitch into the first stitch of row eight and then slip stitch into the next stitch. Then work one chain and slip stitch into the following stitch and then work two chain, miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and then slip stitch in the beginning of your neatening row and fasten off. And that just gives it a bit of shape at the top. Now for this marking near the wing, I've still got the snow white and we start with eight chain. Now miss two chain and we're going to work a joined half double crochet over the next two chain. So put the yarn around the hook, hook into the third chain from the hook and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, hook into the next chain and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then work one single crochet into each of the next two chain. and slip stitch into each of the last two chain. Then work one chain quite tightly and we're going to slip stitch in the chain, the back of the chain, the first four up the back. And for this little piece here, we're just going to work four chain quite tightly. 
and then fasten off leaving a bit of a longer tail I just use that to stitch that little part down and then just pull it through and that's the marking now for the legs I've got my 393 the charcoal the first one is joined just at the end of that part there and we work eight chain we miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each of the next two chain and then we work three chain for the next claw we miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each of the next two chain and then slip stitch in the last slip stitch from that first claw and then work three chain for our last claw we miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each of the two remaining chain and then slip stitch in the same stitch as our slip stitches at the end of the claw and then work one single crochet into the next chain and then slip stitch into each remaining chain up to the body and then slip stitch into the body and fasten off and the one goes to, towards the back and the others go towards the front so that's the first leg done I'll weave in those ends to make it easier to see the next one it's worked the same except one extra chain at the beginning now that's the first leg for the second leg we join just in this bend just in here one of these stitches and we start with nine chain we miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next two chain and then we work three chain we miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the remaining two chain and then slip stitch in the same stitch as that last slip stitch from the first claw and then work three chain we miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each of the remaining two chain and then slip stitch in the same place as that slip stitch from the first claw and then work one single crochet into the next stitch 
and then one slip stitch in each remaining chain up to the body. And then slip stitch into the body. And fasten off. And that's the second leg done. Now I'll weave in the ends. I'll make a black bird and then I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's the pieces. I've got the birds, a wing for each and two markings for each. The first things I'll do is embroider on the markings for the beak. It's just two triangles just going up the side of the beak and down near the centre but there's a slight gap between the two triangles and I'll attach the wing. The end of the wing go, sticks out the back and it goes in about there So just in there. Next we add the markings along the back. Just in there, above the wing. And a bead for the eye. The last thing I do is attach these wing markings. This front section goes off the wing and then the other two bits go on the wing. So just in about there. So I'll st stitch them down and I'll be back to show you the finished magpies. There's the finished magpie. The size is 12 centimetres wide by 12 and a half centimetres or four and three quarter inches wide by five inches. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Patreon. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns and the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.